All right, so I went to the Barnes and Nobles the other day, right? And I was looking for the Grimm's Brothers fairy tales, you know, like the fairy tales like um, Red Riding Hood, the Goldilocks and Three Bears, uh, Cinderella, like all those stories. But I was looking for the uncensored version. Um, if you don't know, the original fairy tales were like actually like graphic. People died. People got like their arms chopped off. So I was trying to find those books, right? I found the... Um, I found a version of it, but I don't think it was the uncensored version. I think it was like the kids' version. So I was sad. I was like, man, I wanted to get a book today. But then I saw something. I saw this. This is the Bronte Sisters collection. It has Jane Eyre and the Wuthering Heights. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It looks like it looks like it says Wuthering Heights, doesn't it? And I got this for only $8. That's why I like going to Barnes and Nobles, because I can get like these big, thick textbooks for like eight bucks. And it's it's amazing, because look how thick this is. This is gonna keep me this is gonna keep me busy for like the next three months. So big. So <clears throat> I had no idea who these sisters were. Um Emily Bronte and Charlotten Bronte. I didn't know who they were, so I know what you're thinking. Josh, why would you pick up a book by an author who you don't know? Well, other for the reasons that it's an unknown author, I kind of like the idea of like picking up a book from an author I don't know, because then I won't know what to expect from it. Like, I don't know this person. Like, so are there, is, how is their writing style? How's their storytelling? How's their character development? Um, but the main reason why I got this book is because of this. If you can't read it, it says H.P. Lovecraft. Um, he, gave a, he gave a good review of the Wuthering Heights book. And... So I was like, okay, H.P. Lovecraft. I like his stuff. Um, every time with my girlfriend, I always reference like his um, Chichulu poems and stuff. So I'm a big H.P. Lovecraft video uh, fan. I said, I said video. I was going to say I have a video up too about H.P. Lovecraft where I'm talking about his book that I also got from Barnes and Nobles. So yeah, I'm excited to read this. I don't know what to expect. Um, both of these stories seem like they're like gothic um Gothic uh, tragic romances. Um, not sure what to expect because, like I said, I I literally just went in blind. Just like, okay, this book looks interesting. Um, female writers. I I don't really listen. I don't really write. I don't. Pff, I can't talk. I don't really read female writers all that often. Well, besides Ayn Rand, but um, female writers. That's different. I don't really read their books. And H.P. Lovecraft also gave a good review of it. Huge H.P. Lovecraft fan. And the cover looks pretty. It has like, it's dark, has like red flowers, red roses on it. Looks pretty. But uh, yeah, also I, I skipped through the book a little bit. Um, it has like that 1800s kind of writing. And as I can see, the text is big. That's what I like. Uh, sometimes when I read a book, the text is too small. I'm just kind of like squinting my eyes trying to read it. So every time I'm, I'm at the bookstore, I always look through the book. I like to look at the um, text. The The three things I like to look for in books, um, text size. I like to look at how the pages feel, which is kind of weird, but sometimes they're like thin pages, sometimes they're like thick pages. And also the smell of the book. That's always my favorite thing, The how the book smells. I don't know if that's weird or not, but every time I'm about to buy a book or something, every time I get like a book in the mail from Amazon or something, I always take it out and like smell it. <laughs> it sounds weird saying it out loud, but I don't know. It's just something that I've always done. Just like touch the book, look at the writing, look at the font, and just kind of smell the book. <laughs> that really sounds weird when I say it out loud. I swear, I, I swear, I said it in an earlier video, but I don't know. It just sounds kind of weird. I'll, I'll I'll say it again in the future, but <laughs> yeah. Um, my book, my uh, book videos don't really do that well, but I, I'm still excited about this book. Um, covers great. It has a, um, it kind of has a, uh, I don't know what to call it, an introduction, uh, telling you about the sisters in case Google doesn't exist or you don't have good Wi-Fi, you can, uh, look at it. It tells you about the sisters. Um, from what I've gathered, I haven't read the whole thing, but I, I, I looked it up online and they were... Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure there's going to be some kind of nerd in the comments who corrects me, but the basics are, there were like these four sisters, but two of them became writers, uh, Emily and uh, Charlton, 
and um, they use like their uh, mother's adherence or something to kind of publish them. That's like the that's like all I know about them right now. Um, once I read the book, I'll do I'll do a little bit more research because I like to know about like the um, the history behind the author, what molded them. So um, yes, uh, I don't know when I'm going to start reading this book. I'm so busy on books right now. Um, I'm reading a Stephen King book uh, called Later. Uh, you might have heard of it. Um, just came out a couple months ago, if not a couple weeks ago. Um, I'll be, I'll have a, a video about that. I'm more than halfway done reading it, so I should be finished uh, with the book um, by this week, hopefully. Uh, and I'm still reading The Fountainhead by Ayn Rand. Uh, I'm 200 pages deep. That book is a monster. It's like 600 pages long, so... <laughs> Uh, so it's gonna take me uh, a month or two to finish that book. So um, I don't even know when I'm gonna start reading this, but I I'm just excited about it. I have this bad habit of just like buying books, even though I have like a bunch of books I haven't read yet. I haven't finished reading 1984. I still want to read the Bible, um, so I just have like all these books piled up, and there's still uh, there's still like a dozen more books I want to get. So I'm trying to read through all these books, trying to get it all done, but. Honestly, I, I'll probably never read every single book I want to read. So I, I really got to pick and choose what I'm going to read. And I set more time aside to read, even though I set like, even though I try to read like 30 to 50 pages um, every day. Um, still, though, uh, it's a struggle, man. It's a struggle. Wow, this video is almost seven minutes long. So I'm... Um, don't know what I'm going to get into this book, but it will be waiting on my shelf. So I've got a ton of books to read. Um, I will have a Stephen King video out uh, about his new book later. I, I don't even know if I should do like a book um, introduction uh, like I did with this one. Because I, like I said, I'm like, I'm like three-fourths of the way done. So should I just wait until the end to like just talk about the whole book? Or maybe I should do like an introduction and then like an uh, actual review when I talk about it? I don't think I've done a book review before. That'd be interesting. But um, I'll figure it out. Um, expect uh, that Stephen King book um, discussion uh, later this week, if not tomorrow. I don't know when I'm going to upload this video. Um, but uh, yeah, I rambled on for long enough. Peace.